So we're going to play today four liras with sympathetic strings made by Stelios Petrakis. Uh, each one is a little bit different from the others, and this will give you the chance to see the differences which occur from different wood combinations, different string combinations, and slightly different sizes sometimes as well. This one is 12 years old. It was made in 2005. It's got uh, maple on the back with uh, counter grain, uh, stripey. And it's, uh, I use on this one, I, I, I use cello strings. I use Larsen cello strings, uh, La, Re from cello. And then I use a Do viola string for the third string. So this one is using steel sympathetic strings and wound thin wound saw strings for the, the bass ones.
This lira also uses Javari bridges, which are these wooden bone bridges here, similar to those used on a sarangi or on other Indian instruments. That's rather characteristic of this one. This is a more recent lira made. Uh, it's got a slightly different body size and shape. Uh, it's a little bit smaller in volume, I would say. It also uses the very curly maple, the striped maple. Uh, and it uses uh, Lebanese cedar as the soundboard, as all of these except one uh, use Lebanese cedar for the soundboard. This also uses Javari bridges, um, and the, the setup of the strings is more or less the same. Again, with Larson cello strings for the first two, and uh, uh, pirastro, do, viola of uh, chrome style, uh, steel chrome. That's what I use for the strings.
This lira was made this year, so it's quite recent. It's uh, only two or three months old. Uh, it's also made of uh, Lebanese cedar and with uh, tiger maple in the back here. <clears throat> However, this one, uh, I asked Stelius to make it for me with slightly lighter, uh, slightly thinner wood and not, not quite as heavy as the other ones because I want to try out with different string combinations and things like that. So this one is slightly lighter than the others. The, the, the thickness of the wood in all the places is slightly thinner on this one. So for that reason... For the sympathetic strings, I use uh, uh, brass strings, which are of a lighter tension, uh, so that they don't put so much stress on the instrument. They have a very nice sort of warm sound as well. And again, the strings here are exactly the same. It's uh, Larson cello strings, but I'm using the, the fine gauge, the, the light gauge of Larson cello strings for the first and second, and a uh, pirastro uh, do from viola. Uh, the chrome steel, that, that, that string for the last string there. This one is without Javari. It uses just the ordinary bridges um, because I want to have one which had a, a different sound as well. So this is, this is without the use of Javari.
This one is uh, and the newest of them all. It's only actually maybe a couple of weeks old. Uh, and it is a rather interesting experiment because on this one, everything is more or less the same as on the other ones, except it uses not such stripy maple, quite normal maple on the back. Um, which, uh, but also the most important element of this one is the fact that it uses a soundboard made from cypress instead of made from Lebanese cedar, as in the case of the others. As some of you might know, cypress is the preferred wood for people who make the Turkish kemenci, the politihi lira, as we call it. Um, they prefer cypress to Lebanese cedar for that particular type of, of lira. Whereas on Crete, they've always preferred the Lebanese cedar to anything else. So in this case, what we've done is that Stelius has put on this one uh, a soundboard made of, uh, of cypress, which produces a particularly interesting sound. Everything else is more or less the same as on the previous one, on the, the, the other one there. So you'll hear the sound of this one. <laughs> 